M. Night Shyamalan's daughter has kidnapped Dakota Fanning. This is this is a movie. And I'm John Stark from MacMovieGuy.com, and this is The Watchers. It's based on a book. Uh, it's adapted by uh, Indira Shyamalan. I, I don't know. I, I I'm sorry I, if I messed up the name. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan's daughter, who directs the other one, is in the other movie because she's a musician. Uh, and this is her uh, directorial uh, stamp, putting a stamp on uh, getting her name out there for everybody. I want to say debut, but I'm not even sure if that's true. If it is a debut, it's a little bit more impressive. It's If it's not a debut, then it's just depressing. Um, it does have audio description. It's done by Deluxe, narrated by William Michael Redman. I did watch some Max because... And here's, here's a funny thing. Uh, I could have watched this earlier, except I usually rent things from Apple. And uh, the audio description didn't pass through to Apple. So I couldn't. Luckily, it came to a streaming service. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the hashtag winning. <laughs> the incompetency of pass-through of audio description caused me to have to wait for a streaming service because I literally could not watch this as a rental. Um... I guess spooky season, right? It's spooky season, but this isn't spooky. Uh, I didn't find anything about this scary, which is weird for a Shyamalan movie. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, let's talk about this film a little bit. Uh, and the sad thing is I've seen other films and uh, that I would love to have given William Michael Redmond to work on. And this is, he's on this which is not really scary. I mean, it's trying to be, so maybe he's trying to help it. Uh, he's great on scary movies. I've said that like a thousand times. I'm like, I love William Michael Redman when he's on a scary movie. I just, this film wasn't scary. Um, so we open up on some, some, something shady's happening in the neighborhood and who are you going to call? Nobody, because you're in the middle of the woods. Uh, and then we find Dakota Fanning and she's walking through the woods. They're in Ireland uh, she comes upon this house. It's this. It's kind of a weird sort of mirrored house uh, with some people living there. And she finds out that she's stuck there and there are these rules. She has to live by these rules. Uh, and uh, there are some other people that live there. Um, there's, I, I've, I've forgotten their names. Uh, one of them is played by Georgina Campbell, who is... Uh, she was just in Barbarian uh, not that long ago. So uh, I, I don't know who the guy is. I, I'm sure he was in something. I actually like the the older actress um, who played. Uh, I thought she gave actually a pretty solid performance in a, in this film. Uh, the other two were kind of just like they always felt like. I actually thought they were both going to be killed off. I actually was reading this as gonna this I was like this is gonna come down to Dakota Fanning and the old lady. Uh I they they totally felt like uh throwaway characters. But when you only have like four characters in a film, it becomes really hard. Although there is the guy who's in the beginning of the film, which gets tied back in later on. You find out who he is and why and I guess there's five. Uh but you have to live by these rules, and they're being watched. They have a TV there. It's sort of weird. Sometimes they have programming, sometimes they don't. <laughs> it's, <laughs> you know? Uh, I feel like this film could could do a lot more explaining. Um, they have to forage for food, but they have a TV. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they, they set up these traps where they capture crows, and then they eat the crows. But then they have a TV. I'm just, it's so weird. Uh, um, you know, it's just like, yeah, we're, we're hoofing it out in the wilderness, but uh, let's, let's go watch some TV. Let's eat some crow while we're, uh, while we're doing this. So everybody's been there for like a different period of time due to the rules of, of this, this place. Like they can't, they can't leave. They have to keep being watched. They're the watchers that so watch them outside. Uh, so they, they, they recite these rules and Dakota Fanning has to learn how to, but she's sort of like new and she doesn't want to accept the fact that she's trapped here. So she's trying to find ways of getting out and that 
sort of like inspires other people to want to get out too. So it becomes kind of a thing. Um, and uh, there's no real good way to talk about this film beyond what I'm saying without giving spoilers. Some, I, I kind of have to stop at a certain point because that's that's about really all I can tell you is that there's a house, there's some rules, the, there are watchers. I would say there are watchers. Uh, I don't I I don't think the film really hides that from you once it uh, once you get there. There is something that is out there. Uh, so if you think that this is just like some, like they're being gaslit into believing and like it's some fake scenario, it's not that. There is actually something out there. I won't tell you what it is, but uh, it is that because the film doesn't really try to hide that from you. Uh, there, there are things that make noises uh, outside. The audio description catches like movement. It shows you outside the house. With, before it even reveals what is out there, it shows you that there are things moving around that you just can't see, like, uh, in a descript fashion. Uh, there's uh, noise outside, you know, they get banging on the walls and stuff like that. Something is outside. You know what I'm saying? This is not... <laughs> they're not... This is not just, like, an old lady who just wants some people to spend some time with her. And it's like, oh, God, now you have to stay here because <laughs> if you don't, the Watchers will get to... Who are the Watchers? Oh, my God, I must stay here with this old lady. You know, um... I saw some people who, I knew some people who thought that that was the film, what the film was about. They were like, what if the twist was that there are no watchers and the old lady just wants people to spend time with her? And I was like, I mean, that's a more interesting movie. I would have actually appreciated that movie because that would have required uh, Lady Shyamalan to actually have to commit to uh like creeping the hell out of you for two for you know I don't know how long it's ninety minutes two hours, without revealing anything, because you'd have to find a way to keep the tension ratcheted up, uh, so that people believe, you know how much are you willing to believe how much can you be gaslit that film is fucking sounds great, um, the film where there actually are watchers is just like well are they what are they are they people or the aliens was this the village is this you know like what are we in here um and when you find out it's really not that interesting i was just, <laughs> just, i've never been least less interested in a twist before um and uh yeah i just honestly uh this film did remind me of a film from last year but if i say what the film is it'll like instantly like kind of give away a little bit of the film it, it, even though it's not, it doesn't line up perfectly. I would say there was a film that was released last year that remind that this reminded me of. That's all I can say. Uh, there was a film last year, and I thought that film was decent and probably better than this one. So there was, I got vibes. I got some vibes from a film that was released in twenty twenty three. Um, the acting is okay. Like I said, I like the old lady whose name escapes me because I'm less familiar with her as an actress. Um, I thought she did a nice work being sort of the sage uh, advisor to the group, but also because she's the one that's been there the longest, there's this like seed of distrust, like, well, how do we even know what she's saying is true? You know, and it's, and those questions are being posed, of course, by Dakota Fanning, who's been there all like three minutes. Meanwhile, the other people have been there for, like, not not as long as the old lady has, but uh, longer. And you would think that they'd be like, well, uh, you weren't here, but two months ago, w w this thing happened. You know, uh, I don't know, something. But they're all just like, wow, you're right. Damn, how do we know? Uh, maybe there is more to life than this. You know, uh, I don't know. It's just very... It's very weird. This film doesn't quite sell you on it. And then when you get to the actual plot, it just goes off the rails. It just, the, the whole film just derails trying to sell its element as to what is a watcher. What, 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 what actually is outside is just like, my God. Uh, and uh, I, it lost me. It, it really did. The twist, I wasn't interested at all. Just, I can't, I can't say how uninterested I've ever been in Shyamalan twists before. Pick a film, I liked it better than this. Uh, except for maybe, like, Avatar, which doesn't actually have a twist as a Shyamalan movie. Uh, as a, as a daddy Shyamalan. Or, um, 
is the other film he directed that didn't have a twist. After Earth doesn't really have a twist. Uh, I would say, besides the films that are outside his genre, pretty much everything else that has a twist to it uh, that he's ever done, that twist has been better. Pick your least favorite Shyamalan horror film. It's probably better than this twist. This twist is, first of all, comes fairly early in the film. Um, although they do try to play with, like, other twists later on. They're like, but what if we throw in another twist? <laughs> I'm like, no, you already lost me. <laughs> I'm already gone. I'm like, wait, they're what? <laughs> the watchers are what? Uh, I've heard the book is better uh, from people who've read it. And obviously, when I wait for streaming, I get to see other people posting about this stuff online. Uh, I guess some people did read the book. And uh, they claim it's better. Would not shock me. I've been there too. I, uh, I I distinctly, I've read some books. I remember reading them and then watching the film and being like, what the, what is this? What it, what, it, what have you done? What have you done to this? What, what happened here? Um, and, uh, <laughs> and then people are like watching. You're like, no, no, don't, don't watch this. Stay away. Stay away from this. This is such a poor representation of the book. Um, but there's nothing you can do to stop it. So I, I pick up on that vibe. Is it the worst film I've ever seen? No, it's not the worst film I've ever seen. But as far as this being, you know... Uh, I mean, the expectation for her as a director coming, you know, following in her father's footsteps is just ridiculously high. Uh, I mean, it's sort of unfair because... If, if she was just, you know, Jane Doe, uh, no one would care. They would just be like, oh, well, that was a very mediocre horror film with a weird twist. Uh, and we would just move on. But because her last name is Shyamalan, people are like, oh, my God, we must dis we must discuss this film in deep detail. Uh, I think that's part of the reason why it, it even got attention during a theatrical release was because people were like, well, let's see what Ed Knight's daughter came up with. You know, did she inherit the, the directing gene? Uh, I think probably she, she should probably just try to do her own thing instead of trying to embrace a lot of her father's techniques. Uh, because here she's, I think she's trying to do that. But she also feels like because her last name is Shyamalan that she has to bring these certain elements to the table. And I would argue that 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 doesn't seem to match with what she wants to tell, the kind of story she wants to tell here. So, um, I think she'd be much more suited for, like, a fantasy movie or a, maybe a straight-up horror that doesn't rely on a, on a, aha, you know, gotcha, of any kind. Um, just direct, direct a movie straightforward. Just uh, direct a good, scary movie and uh and go with it it doesn't need a plot twist it just just wow people with your directorial talents uh yeah it's the audio description william michael redmond uh does a nice job uh narrating this audio description wise uh deluxe usually does a pretty good job uh yeah you know i mean i think about uh, the film and again, there are elements that I can't discuss because they're very spoilery, but they're the elements that would reveal that the audio description is doing a good job. Uh, and they're all sort of, they're far more interesting than, than the setup of the film. It's the stuff when, in, when stuff gets crazy and, and wild and, and cuckoo bananas that, uh, that that's when the audio description has to flip into full gear. Uh, to be able to follow and, and give the audience, the blind audience, what it needs. And you just have to trust me that it, it's not bad. Um, I could have used maybe a little bit more character description uh, in terms of the Watchers uh, and what's out there. But I can't even say more about that because I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. Uh, I, I'm sure, I'm assuming some people want to watch this and it's not bad enough where I feel like I want to go out there and where I'm just like, well, I don't even care. Sometimes I, 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 I hate a film so much that I just don't even bother with, I'm, 
I'm just like, well, spoilers. It's just, I'll save you the time. I, I, yeah, there's some stuff to work with here. Dakota Fanning showed up. Uh, she gave a nice performance. I think all the cast actually is fine. I just really would have highlighted. I, sh I need to memorize her name, uh, probably, uh, as an actress. I'm just not familiar with her, uh, the older lady. So when I go into these reviews, it's like memorizing everybody's names. And I, I just, I didn't know. I, not happening. Um, so The Watchers. Should you, should you watch The Watchers? Uh, there are better movies to watch. I don't know if Daddy Shyamalan's movie, because I haven't seen it yet, is one of them. Uh, I've heard very mixed things on that as well. Uh, this is not a great start to her career, uh, but there's stuff here to pick up on. Uh, but I would say the twist is probably silly. I think it's a silly twist. So uh, I, I had a really hard time taking the film seriously once I knew what was behind the curtain. Sort of like in, in The Wizard of Oz... We, you know, Dorothy goes up there and she's like, oh, it's just a man behind a curtain, which seems actually kind of harmless and normal. Imagine if she had pulled back the curtain and she was like, oh, it's a giraffe. Well, that's unexpected. And then the audience would be like, there's, there's what? There's a giraffe back there. Oz is a giraffe? Okay. I don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, you kind of expect it to be maybe a man back there, right? Because it's speaking. And you're like, oh, it's a giraffe. Never mind. This is really fucking weird now. Uh, I, I don't know what to take away from this um, anymore. So I kind of felt like that. I, I was like, oh, that's what it is. Great. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> so I'm going to give the watchers a C minus. <laughs> um, I. I I, I I would love to maybe read the book at some point if I ever if I ever get around to it just to see did they handle it better does it make more sense in the book are we missing something like is there just like did she cut out like chapters like five six and seven which would have like you know like well if you if you had included those chapters it would have made more sense you know I don't know but um yeah it's a weird movie uh but not unwatchable, just not good. I I would I would have to go rotten on this if I was a tomato meter critic. I'm sorry. I just I'd have to add to the pile on, but I don't want to pile on it too hard. I, I it just there's something here. There is something in her she's not untalented as a director, but I don't know that this was the film to go with. But she did write it, so I, you it's it's a self inflicted wound. You know, uh, somebody should have just told her along the way, I think, probably, and been like, I don't know if this is the right choice to be making here. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I will see you guys on the other side.